Well, this stinks. What is this? What's what? What's what? You're tied up to a pole for Pete's sake. Yeah, well, I suppose that's one way to perceive the situation. There is no other way to perceive it. What's what happened? Let's just say, well, let's suppose, all right, that a particular individual had a hypothesis, a projected outcome of things. A hypothesis. Were. Yes. And uh, he wanted to know whether it was possible for a man to tie himself up to the point where he could not escape without assistance. Hypothesizing that it would not likely be possible. Um, and let's just say, let's suppose again here that uh, this particular individual succeeded in the most noble endeavor to answer the aforementioned question. He did, did he? Yes, yes, he did. Uh, the only thing he failed to examine was another unlikely occurrence. The chance that his hypothesis could be wrong. So, once this man realized the implications of his unfortunate mistake, what was his reaction? He changed his hypothesis and elected to execute emergency procedures that he had prepared in the event that the impossible would occur. Oh, and what are these emergency procedures? happen to be disintegratable ropes that will dissolve by application of H2O. Huh? In layman's terms, I'm praying for rain. You realize there's no rain in the forecast until next week. I I'm willing to wait. Well, no, I think I'll sit down. It's getting rather tiring. Well, instead of waiting around here for rain and thunder and lightning and everything else that could uh, burn you up, suppose we just test the thing out right now. What? Yes, there's a hose right over here, I see. I... It, no, no, I want to test it in the rain. It's a, it's a certain kind, there are no minerals in the water. Bip, where are you going? No, no, stop, Bip, put down that hose. You, Biff, let me do this my way. Don't bring that hose. No, you can't do this to me. Stop, stop. I'll never speak to you again. I think there's a flaw in your design. Just untie the rope. <laughs> 